All right, model rocket fans, this is the motor mount for my Estes Big Daddy. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna glue that forward ring into the body tube. I'm gonna slide this assembly in there with glue for the front ring, but I'm not gonna put any glue back here for the aft ring. I drilled three holes in this aft ring and put some shoelace in there. And after I glue that front ring in, I'm gonna go ahead and glue in the fins, glue them to the engine tube, and let all that dry. Then I'm gonna pop this aft ring off, go in through the back of the body tube, and put fillets where the fins attach to the engine tube. And after I put the glue fillets on the fins, then I'm gonna go ahead and take this aft ring and put some glue there and put some glue on the aft mating ends of the fins and take that ring and just shove it in till it butts up against the back of the fins. And by not gluing it in first, it gives me the opportunity to fill it, those fin joints on the engine tube. This is not my idea. I got this off of Tim Milligan at Apogee uh, Rockets. So here's the first fin glued on using the Apogee fin jig. And that ring is not glued in. I'm gonna glue all four fins Pull the ring out and then fill it the fins where they mate to the engine tube. Now one thing I'll say about this process of filleting those fins onto the motor mount tube, this is a black powder rocket. I'm not going to use any kind of uh, other engines. I'm just going to use Estes black powder motors on this one. So you don't have to fill it those fins. You know, it's a fairly low-powered application. The only reason I'm doing it is because I've done it before on higher power uh, rockets, and I just like to, you know, use what I would call best practices. And it certainly doesn't hurt to have the experience of doing this repeatedly, you know, so that you get good at it for those bigger rockets where you really need to do it. But do you need to do it on an Estes Big Daddy with black powder uh, motors? No, you, do, you don't need to do it at all. So here's the, uh, how this thing worked. I put the motor mount, put the back ring loosely in position on the engine tube with the shoe strings in there, glued the front forward ring of the motor mount, left this ring unglued, then installed my fins and glued them to the motor mount tube. Now I can take the back ring out because I didn't glue it in and I can go ahead and fill it along those fins where they attach to the motor mount tube. After I fill it all those fin joints on the motor mount tube, I can take the back ring and slide it in there and glue it. As I said, this isn't my idea. I got this from Tim Van Milligan at Apogee uh, Rockets. I'll give you another tip for any rocket where you're gonna fill it the uh, fins onto the motor mount tube. Before you start getting glue up in there, mask off this area right here inside the aft end of the body tube mask that completely off all the way around so you don't get glue in this last you know half inch quarter inch of body tube because if you get glue on there and don't clean it off immediately and clean all of it off then that glue is going to prevent you from pushing the aft ring in in there and I made that mistake before. So, you know, if you want to fill it, these joints here, you are going to get glue all over the place in here. 
mask this area off. Um, right there. Put masking tape all the way around so that you don't have glue fouling you up when you try to put your aft ring in later. Be careful about that. So there you can see I've masked off the aft end of that body tube so I didn't get glue in there that'll prevent me from pushing the aft ring in when I'm done with this process. So there you can see the glue fillets on those two fins. And I could also, if I wanted to, go up in there and fillet that forward mounting ring, you know, on the back side. I just reached in there, I put glue on this Q-tip and just went up in there um, one dot at a time and dabbed on glue onto that joint. Actually, what I'm filleting here is the um, the fins, internal fillets from the fins to the body tube. Again, that's super overkill for a big daddy. But then after I finish filleting the fins to the body tube, I'm gonna fillet the fins to the motor mount tube right along there. Another thing I did on this Big Daddy, I tied that Kevlar shock cord to the engine tube and cut a little notch in that forward ring to bring that Kevlar through. Again, that's, you know, not something you really need to do. You could use a rubber band, but I'll probably cut this off in here shorter and tie a really long elastic band to a loop so that this Kevlar won't be cutting on the edge of the um, cardboard tube. Or I may just wrap that Kevlar with something so it won't zipper the tube. I don't know what I'm going to do. So there you can see where I put the fillets, glue fillets on the uh, fin engine tube junction. and also on the fin body tube junction. Total overkill, but you know, it doesn't hurt to learn this skill. <clears throat> Might as well learn it on a big daddy and then you can apply it to your, you know, bigger, higher powered rockets. If you use this product, it sticks really good and it won't drip and run. Once you, you know, apply some to your fins, you can just let it set up for three or four minutes and then flip and rotate the tube and get at the next joints and it won't run and drip. It'll stay in position if you just give it just really a couple minutes to set up. So you can glue your fins, fillet your fins very quickly. You don't have to wait for it to dry because it's not gonna run and drip. So there you can see I've got all those joints filleted. The joints between the fin and the body tube and the fin and the engine tube. They're all done. I did them real quick with that glue that doesn't drip. So again, that's overkill for a big daddy, but um, you know, it's a good technique to learn by leaving that aft ring out. Get all those fillets, strengthen up your fin joints, then slip your aft ring into position. Another thing I did, which I'm sure a lot of y'all do, is um, I put tape on the body tube and the fin. Let's see if I can get some light on here. So that when I do my fillet, I get a nice sharp edge when I pull that tape off. I guess a lot of people do that. That's nothing special or tricky, but it gives you a nice looking fillet joint on the fin body tube junction. Now, by the way, if you're going to put tape on the fin and the body tube to get a nice even fillet, 
Uh, use blue painter's tape. Don't use masking tape like I did. You, maybe you can see this, maybe you can't, but it kind of roughed up the surface of the tube here. Took off a little bit of uh, the surface layer and I'm gonna have to, you know, try to fix that by primer sand, primer sand, primer sand. Try to smooth that out where I ripped off just a superficial bit of the surface layer of that body tube to try to get these nice square fillets by putting tape. Use blue painter's tape. I've done that before, and for some reason on this case, I use regular masking tape. Uh, don't do that. You can see I put a fillet around the aft ring and the body tube, and I'm also gonna put a fillet around the aft ring and the engine tube, and to make sure that engine tube is in its proper configuration and perfectly round and not ovaled out, I went ahead and put an engine in there to keep that engine tube in its proper configuration when I put the glue fillet. If you're gonna put a fillet around that engine tube and the aft uh, ring, be sure you don't put any glue on the engine hook and be sure you don't run that glue up and glue your engine in there. Be careful about that. That didn't show me doing it, but when I put that launch lug on there, I secured this angle iron <clears throat> onto the body tube and got it nice and straight. And then I just butted that launch lug right up against that uh, angle aluminum to keep it dead straight instead of eyeballing it from the aft end of the tube. That's a really short tube. And I never like to eyeball lunch lugs anyway, so I always take a piece of angle iron, angle aluminum, get it straight and secured on the tube, and then just butt my lunch lug right up against it. Gets a dead straight lunch lug every time. Well, there's the finished product, absent paint. I think I'll uh, paint the body tube chrome and the nose cone and fins some kind of dark blue, royal blue, something like that. I think the other thing I'll do with this kit, I'm gonna use a parachute protector instead of wadding. Because a number of people were complaining that they couldn't get enough wadding in there to protect the parachute. So I think I'll just put a parachute protector instead of wadding. <laughs> 